Uh, Pope is also calling for the move of power away from the Vatican, but we also have more on sports coming up in just a moment. Do join us again. Many factors define yourself. Some you can control, while others are simply beyond you. On Health News, we highlight all of these factors and through medical experts provide information that will help you take informed decisions on healthy living, nutrition and keeping fit. Get incisive health quality analysis. Health News, promoting good health. Welcome to Business News. Duties and levies on new and used vehicles and tires imported into the country from next year will rise between 20% to 70%. The new import tariff on cars will rise to 70% of the cost of the car, 35% duty and another levy of 35% of the cost of the vehicle. This compares to what the current tariff of 20% duty and 2% levy. Now, according to a circular signed by the Coordinating Minister for the Economy and Minister of Finance, Dr. Ngozi Okojewala, henceforth fully built unit cars falling under HS code 87.03 shall attract a duty of 35%. Fully built unit commercial vehicles falling under HS code 87.01, 87.02, 87.05, 87.06, 87.07, 87.16 and 87.16 shall attract 35% duty without levy. Local assembly plants shall import their completely knocked down at 0% duty and completely knocked down 1HS code 87.06 at 5% duty. Also, local assembly plants shall import fully built unit cars at 35% duty and 20% duty for commercial vehicles without levy each in numbers equal to twice their imported CKD slash SKD kits. Now, these, amongst others, are part of measures the government is taking towards implementing the new automotive development plan approved by the Federal Executive Council sometime in October. Echo Bank Transnational Incorporated has sued a former top executive, David Lawson, naming him in a civil complaint in Togo as the as the author of an anonymous email accusing Chief Executive Thierry Tano of mismanagement. Mr. Lawson has denied that he wrote the email and says he had been unfairly dismissed. He accused Echo Bank executives, including Mr. Tano, of hacking his phone and email account in a fruitless search for evidence against him. The row comes as Echo Bank tries to show up confidence in its governance after the Securities and Exchange Commission began investigating the way it reported its financial results. The bank's chairman, Mr. Lawson, quit last month, saying it wasn't appropriate for him to stay given the company's ongoing reviews of governance. Echo Bank has been viewed by investors as an African success story for its strong growth and expansion beyond its Togo base into 33 African countries. Equity market ended on a bearish note with the all share index tilting southwards to close at 38.975.16 points. The market capitalization also dropped to finish at 12.4 trillion naira. The drop could be attributed to the losses recorded on the shares of heavyweight Dangote Cement, Nigerian Breweries, and Cadbury. However, on that list, Nigerian Breweries, Mobile, and PZ were the first three. On the other hand, Nestle, Total and Cap topped the gainers table. However, investors traded more on the shares of Transcore, Orando and Wapik PLC. In all, the market recorded a total volume of 449.1 million shares at the close of trading today, valued at 4.8 billion naira and 6,247 deals. On the foreign scene, Pope Francis has called for power in the Catholic Church to be devolved away from the Vatican in the first major work he has written in that role. In the document, he says he is open to suggestions to changes in the power of the papacy. He also warns that rising global economic inequality is bound to explode in conflict 
And since becoming Pope in March, Francis has struck a markedly different turn to his predecessor on several issues. Elsewhere, the UN Secre Deputy Secretary General has called for urgent action in the Central African Republic, warning that the situation there is getting out of control. Ahead of elections next week, UN official Jan Eliasson has urged the Security Council to strengthen the African Union-led force in the country. He said preparations should be made to turn the AU force into a UN peacekeeping operation. The country has been in chaos since rebels seized power in March. For extremists and armed groups in a region that is already suffering from conflict and instability. If this, if this situation is left to fester, it may develop into a religious and ethnic conflict with long-standing consequences, even a civil war that could spread into neighboring countries. What you teach him? The transformation of MISCA into a United Nations peacekeeping opera operation with an estimated strength of 6,000 troops and 1,700 police personnel would lay the foundation for transparent, accountable, and resilient institutions. A United Nations peacekeeping oper operation would uh, ensure a multidimensional, integrated approach and enhance the international community's ability to apply political leverage, we would hope. Now, in sports news, the Edo State Governor Adam Zoshimola has inaugurated a seven-man interim management committee to reposition and restore the lost glory of Bendel Insurance Football Club. Well, during the inauguration in Government House, Governor Oshimola said sports is the only area his government has not addressed and called on the committee to rebrand the football team. I am fanatical about football. And yet, I am here, I am not able to demonstrate this passion in terms of getting the pedestrians to be at the top where it was be, where it was before. I believe we can get back there. We tried some approaches, they haven't quite worked. So money may go beyond provision of money. And nobody is going to be able to give what it does not have. So it is in recognition of this that we have invited you to help us to start specialized from ground zero and help us to rebuild a complete new team. We want to assure you, sir, that uh, we know that the tenure of this management committee is limited and we will do all we can to begin with expectation and fulfill those types of efforts that you have done. And the head coach of Nigeria's Super Sand Eagles, Audu Adamu, has released the names of the 29 players, or rather the 20 players, who will vie for places in this year's squad to the Copper Lagos Beach Soccer Championship. Adamu revealed that all the 20 players who have been invited for this year's showpiece will camp at the FIFA Gold Project in Abuja from Wednesday, November the 27th to December the 10th. This year's competition will take place from December the 13th to the 15th in Lagos. The Beach Eagles are the defending champions after winning the first two editions. Senegal, Lebanon and Germany are the three other nations that will participate in this year's showpiece in Lagos. Well, that's it on Sports News. And News Track, thank you for joining us. I'm Cynthia Are. And I'm Charles Aruka. Just a trio. It's getting not just the passion. Now it's just the business and the sports.
It's just like I think we should give ourselves a couple of the bats. Let's have our strength and listen. We must have a shot. Have vision, or can't you see? I'm on the moon.